Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas McGee and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a DSLR camera as a webcam with your Mac. Okay, so a little while back, I decided that I wanted to start doing a little bit more live streaming and live broadcasting and video recording over at Notable Themes. One of the things that I found a little bit challenging and that I wasn't quite happy with, however, was my webcam. Now, don't get me wrong, I still use a webcam a lot for a lot of my client meetings or video calls and even a little bit of my live streaming. But what always kind of bothered me about a live stream setup using a webcam, and perhaps you can relate to this, is that the video quality isn't always that great. So what this led me on is a little bit of a search, a hunt, to find out how I could set up a a little bit of a nicer camera as a webcam. So before we dive into it though, one of the things you might be wondering is why would you want to do this? Why would you want to go and set up a DSLR as a webcam? Isn't my webcam good enough? And in most cases it is, but in those cases where let's say you want to set up a different angle of you, or perhaps there is, uh, maybe you want to do a set, you want to kind of take your webcam or your live streaming experience to the next level using a DSLR works great. So perhaps you have like a Canon or a Nikon or something sitting around at home and maybe you've got a nice lens for it. So that's where this is going to come in really handy. I'm going to show you how you can hook that particular type of camera up to your Mac. So if you are a Windows user, I apologize, I am a Mac user. So some of this may apply to Windows, but the specific software we'll be exploring in this video will be for a Mac. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so the first thing we want to get up and running when we are looking to connect our DSLR to our Mac is we want to make sure that we have the right cable. So there's a good chance your DSLR probably already came with this, but you just want to make sure that you have a USB cable that connects from your camera to your computer. So if you don't have one, just type in the actual camera name. So mine's a Canon 80D. Just pop that into Amazon and more than likely you're going to find right there at the top of the list uh, just a nice little USB cable that you're going to be able to use to connect to your camera. Like I said, a lot of cameras actually will come with this. So in that case, you don't really have to worry about this, but you are going to want to make sure uh, that you are able to connect your camera to your computer. Okay, so for me, I actually thought that this was the first and only step to be able to utilize a Canon camera for my webcam, but I was mistaken. So here are some of the other pieces that you're gonna need to get this working. You are gonna need some other pieces of software, but fortunately, uh, it is easy to do. It is easy to do. Uh, it just involves a couple of extra steps. The nice thing is, is that the software is actually free. Okay, so what you're gonna need first is some software called Camera Live. So we'll go ahead and click on that, have it open already, but it's gonna take you to this page. So I'm gonna go ahead and link this uh, it, below this video so you can get right to it. But essentially what you're looking for is their releases page. And then you just wanna download the very latest version of the software. So you just download that and install it onto your Mac. And that's gonna be the first piece that you're going to need. Now, in some cases, that may also be the last. Uh, I've noticed in some cases that I've used the software and uh, it's actually been the only thing that I need. Um, so as you can see, I'm already using this to shoot this video. So that's why it's kind of already up and running. But all it's gonna do is it's gonna show your camera here. You're gonna click on this and this is going to enable this to be used. So I'm gonna go show you a little bit of a double screen here, but I'm actually using something called OBS to record. So as you can see, this is gonna kind of do some doubling up. But if you look over here, it's actually showing my picture. It's showing the, the camera, but up here where it says ADD, so let's go ahead and click on this. It's actually enabling me to pull in this Canon EOS ADD as my camera within this software. Now, I'm not gonna go into this uh, too much in this video. So let's pull this out so we don't have all the multiple windows showing up. I'm not gonna go into it, uh, too much detail in this video, 
In the future videos, I'll show you how to use to, to use OBS, it's free software, in order to do live streaming as well as recording your videos. So Camera Live was all that was required to get that up and running. However, it's not enough if I want to use it as a webcam. So let's take a look at another piece of software that will enable us to do that, and it's called Cam Twist. Should be the first option that comes up. And again, I'll just go ahead and link to this. And then all you got to do is go ahead and just click download now. Okay, so once I've got Cam Twist installed, let's go ahead and open it up. And we got to go through some settings here. Got some options. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you have this siphon option available. I know when I first tried to do this, I didn't. So I got to go up to preferences. And I actually installed something, so it didn't require me to do this. But if you don't see that option, just enable, uh, check this box to enable the siphon server. That's going to be important as we're going up here. Okay, so I select siphon. Then I go ahead and click select. And then over here on the right hand side, let me go ahead and pull up my presentation assistant real quick. There we go. Uh, we're going to be able to see an option right here for which siphon server we're going to use. Okay, so I'm going to select camera live and we should be good. So let's go ahead and pull up. Let's say I'm going to be doing a Zoom meeting, for example. Okay, so you should be able to see that. Let's say we want to start with video. So this is my default webcam. So there we go. But let's say we want to switch that over to cam twist. And there you go. So as you can see now, uh, this is going to be uh, now my webcam. So you are now watching me through my Canon DSLR. So and I can just select that any way I want. I can go ahead and select that um, if I'm doing, you know, uh, Google Hangouts or if I'm using uh, third party software to record this or if I'm doing Facebook Live or whatever it is, I now have this nicer, fancier camera, which has, you know, a lot of nice autofocus built in. Of course, it's not really. There we go. It's working a little bit better. So it's got all the nice autofocus and all the different features built into it. You can even, you know, since it's a Canon DSLR, you can mess with the color grading. Uh, so it just enables you to take Go ahead and end that. There we go. So it just enables you to take your video production to the next level. I've got some lighting set up and everything. So um, once you get those two pieces of free software installed and they're working in tandem, as you can see, you can take your video experience for your viewers and users to the next level. So if you've got a client or you want to make your Zoom meetings or your webinars really fancy, this is one way that you can put that DSLR camera to use in order to accomplish that. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful. I just wanted to share that quick tip, that trick with you, some of the software that I used and some of the resources that I used as well to get my camera up and running as a webcam. So as always, if you found this useful, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.